we have Sean Webb. His least favorite, his most favorite word, his least favorite word is exclusive. Ah. Exclusivity. Now we know why. <laughs> and Sean, well, uh, I believe he's going to be performing next month for us. Yes. Uh, March <coughs> part. Sean has a big repertoire and has won many awards. And um, so, listen up. Here's Sean. Hey, Hey, let's see us read a things here. Uh, I'm going to read a poem I haven't read in a while, but uh, I'm going to be giving a short reading, I guess, uh, uh, next next Wednesday at uh, the 10, the 10 I think it is, um, for the city paper <coughs> contest thing that they had recently. And I'm going to read a poem uh, I haven't read in a while, but uh, this actually happened in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, what happens in this poem. And no one there seemed to remember this happening, which I was, thought was kind of odd. Until, of course, this pawn shop closed a year or so ago. There was an article in the paper, it was a famous pawn shop in Phoenix. And the guy recounted this story, so I was not crazy. It turned out I was vindicated, which was kind of nice. Yeah, it's, it's called the pawn shop, and uh, I don't like pawn shops, so I never had anything worth pawning, so I was kind of wandering. All failure ends here, and the failures are beautiful, like swan dives and breaching whales. Failed marriages, failed music, failed attempts to fix things. Look at the wall of guitars lined up as if waiting for bread and soup. Saxophones, trumpets, and trombones, tarnished and breathless, doomed to off-key lives. The glass cases full of luck sapped rings waiting for another finger to fill them with hope. There is a surplus of wrenches, rolling toolboxes, red as shamed faces, heavy as lapsed mortgages and drug habits. The shelves are overflowing with saws and drills, cords dangle like dead king snakes. If you have ever been here, there is no need to explain why. One day a man walked in calmly, picked a circular saw, fired it up and ripped it clean through his neck. That is an act of blistering clarity, not a hair of ambiguity or grace. His hot blood, the absolute last thing he had to get rid of. A perfectly cut diamond of failure. Could it be any clearer for you? That's a nice cheery poem. <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw severed heads at him. Were well, you there when it happened? <laughs> to win trends. Uh, Were well, you there when it happened? I wasn't there when it happened. I just heard second hand about that happened. And I'm, I'm going to read uh, just a, a piece um, I wrote recently. I've written a whole bunch of poems in the past few years based on spam emails. Um, usually they come from Russia or somewhere and they have very strange... I'm not going to read this other one, but it was, that one's called Don't Be Afraid. Uh, it's called Every Man Wishes It. Don't let your partner leave you because of being unhappy with the duration of your acts. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> but I like that one. It's, it's a fun one. This is called Five Tricks to Be More Perfect, which was the title of the subject line in this particular spin email. Five Tricks to Be More Perfect. First, be omnipresent and omnipotent. That should, of course, go without saying. The dilemma is being more perfect, super perfect. Supposing there is something beyond the zenith, picture climbing Everest and then stepping into the limitless sky. But they should be parlor tricks, simple illusions. The greater perfection is merely a handkerchief or veil that hides the imperfection of perfection. And there must be five, so you can count them on an imperfect, knuckle-busted, cracking from the cold hand. And of course, you simply must be. Existence is required, even if it's a menial one, or one that can't help being played out in cruel fashion toward others, 
as in a life that in day-to-day -day living elicits the response, you're a perfect horse's ass. Could you be any more of a horse's ass? There is a fine model of striving to be more perfect. So you, there you have it. Everything you must know before the beginning and past the end. Now go find your way among the heavens beyond that cracked tooth in your crooked smile.